Scripture, Psalm 148. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord from the heavens, praise Him in the heights, praise Him all His angels, praise, praise Him all His hosts, praise Him sun and moon, praise Him all you shining stars, praise Him you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for He commanded and they were created. He established them forever and ever. He fixed their bounds, which cannot be passed. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters, and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and, ho and frost, stormy wind fulfilling His command, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and women alike, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above earth and heaven. He has raised up a horn for his people. Praise for all his faithful, praise for the people of Israel who are close to him. Praise the Lord. Psalm 148 is all about praise. It's not just about how humanity praises God. It's about how God is praised throughout the cosmos. The first verses talk about how the angels, stars, and lights of the heavens praise God. Then the psalm focuses on how the earth, including the mountains, trees, and animals, glorify God. Finally, it concludes with us, God's people. From the highest heavens to earthly creatures, when God is present, creation sings, Glory be to God on high. Sound familiar? You are right. The angels sang, Glory to God in the highest heaven. When Jesus was born, and just like the heavens proclaimed God in Psalm 148, in Matthew's account of Jesus' birth, a star leads seekers to the stable. The idea idea is when God is present, every element of the cosmos offers praise.